flavors of fresh deodorant bath soap. And fresh cream deodorant. Present the musical comedy of campus life. The College Bowl, starring Chico Marx, with Stanley Prager, Andy Williams and Joan Holloway, Barbara Roig, Paula Houston and Tommy Morton, Jimmy Brock, Evelyn Ward, Kenny Buffett, Lee Lindsay. This is Barbara Joyce, with a subject I don't believe you've ever heard a woman discuss before on television. Many people think that underarm deodorants are about the same and give equal protection from offending. This is not true. To avoid embarrassing moments, underarm protection must be complete at all times. Merely deodorizing is not enough. Underarm perspiration must be stopped and stay stopped. Smart people use fresh cream deodorant because it really stops perspiration. What's more, when you use Fresh, you're assured of continuous protection. That's because Fresh contains amazing ingredients which become reactivated and start to work all over again at those special moments when you need protection most. No other cream deodorant has ever made this promise to you. So don't take a chance with ordinary deodorants whose effectiveness quickly fades when with Fresh cream deodorant you know you are always lovely to love. The College Bowl starring Chico Marx is officially open for your entertainment. First act, curtain going up. That's all for now, Stash. How much do I owe you? I don't know how you do it, kid. You had four hot fudge Sundays. That'll be a dollar twenty. Gee, that's where all my money goes. I wish I could stay away from hot fudge Sundays. I try and I try. Honest, I do. But every time I got near a hot fudge Sunday. My hands begin to shake and my knees get weak. Yeah. You know, I just heard of a new organization that might help you. Really? What is it? It's called Hot Fudge Sundays Anonymous. You ought to look into it. Thanks, Stash, I will. So long. So long. Poor kid. He ought to take the cure. <laughs> Hi, Stanley. Hi, Chico. Well, I got a summer supplies for you here. Here's a summer nice some mayonnaise. Uh -huh. Here's a summer nice of peppermint, the lifesavers. Uh -huh. And here's a some real lemon juice. Uh -huh. And I don't forget this, a nice a bottle of hat Uh huh. And I got a some other things too. Right. I'll take them. What were you doing inside all morning? What was I doing inside? I was a making up with the new menu. Well, I just made up a what do you call it, a special brew plate for lunch. Now listen to carefully. Mm -hmm. Here. It's going to be a 45 cents. With a tomato juice, it's a 50 cents. With a soup, it's a 55. With a coffee, it's a 60. Second cup of coffee, it's a 70. With extra cream, it's a 75. That's going to be awful hard to remember. Well, forget it. Everybody orders a hamburgers anyway. Hello, Barbara. Baby. Oh, Stanley, your kiss has just set me on fire. Well, come on, baby. Let's throw another log on the fire. You better kids better quit before the fire department gets here. Hey kids, oh, you see this? Right. Here's our boy right on the front page. Tommy Morton wins intercollegiate welterweight championship. Scores sensational fourth round knockout. Oh, oh, it was the most that. exciting fight I ever saw. He made the guy look silly. <laughs> he had that guy jumping around like an $18 television set. <laughs> well, I don't want to take any of the glory away from Tom, but 
I think he wouldn't have had such an easy time winning the championship if I had gone out for the boxing team. <laughs> you on the boxing team? Stanley, don't make me laugh. <laughs> I wasn't attempting to amuse you. But look at the shape you're in. Shape? All I gotta do is get rid of this. After that, build up my chest. Then I'll build up my biceps. After that, I'll build up my leg muscles. After that, I'll take off 30 pounds, and then... You'll look for your social security. <laughs> Don't you let them tease you, darling. I believe in you. Let me tell you, I have faith in Stanley. Why, even if I'm parked in a car in a lonely spot at night, if I'm with Stanley, I'm not afraid. Gee, Barbara, that's a rotten thing to say. <laughs> Say a few words right into the microphone. Well, folks, I win the fight, but it was a clean <laughs> fight. I want to say that he was a good boy. That is, he was a real good, good boy. <laughs> well, if he was such a good boy, why you keep a punching him so hard? <laughs> <laughs> and another thing, I'd like to say that I owe it all to clean living, my mom, and this here now little lady by my side. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chico, how did you like the fight? <laughs> ah, you were great, Tommy. Do you really think I'd get to him in the fourth? Sure, I knew you had him as soon as, soon as you hit him in the solar complexus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chico, how come you know so much about the boxing racket? Well, when I was at Tommy's age, I was a pretty good at what he called it, the dopes. You know, in a mic town in Italy, there was a one of big fellow used to pick on the kids all the time. Six a foot tall, 250 pounds. I walk over to one time, I say, look here, Giuseppe. You keep away from those kids or I'm going to knock you down and punch you in the nose. Well, he used to get the mad right away. And he say, all right, tomorrow morning I'm going to fight you. And what happened? I don't know. I, that night I left for America. <laughs> <laughs> I said, there is a fight for somebody else. <laughs> hey, Paula, how does it feel to have a champ for a sweetheart? Huh? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, Chico, I'd like it better if he were the chess champ. Oh, sure. And when I graduate college, she'd like me a clerk in a bank, you know. Regular hours, nine to five, day in, day out. But Tom, honey, Look, honey, you know the kind of a guy I am. I just can't punch a clock. Golly, no, I... You know how I feel. I love you, but... Rivet's got a flow. Eagle, it's got a fly. Eagle, it's got to feel its wings against the sky. Ivy, it likes to fly. Ivy likes to feel its freedom in the summertime. Every single day, when the world was an onion, was natural for the spirit to soar and play. The way the Lord wanted it, free as the sun is free. That's how it's got to be. Never is right for bumblebee and rain. You'll see. I got a free period, but I'll walk you over to Carter Hall. Be back in a minute. Okay, yeah, Sam. <laughs> Hiya, Mike. I'll have a Pepsi. Pepsi. Hey, I never see you before. You're a stranger, huh? Yeah, I got here last night. Hey, maybe you can help me, Mike. Sure, what do you want? Well, I seen one of these college kids fight last night. Looked like a real good boy. I was wondering where I could locate him. <laughs> you mean a Tommy Morton? Yeah, that's the one. You know where he hangs out? Well, it's too bad. He just left here. But if you wait around, uh, he'll come back. Say, what do you want with him? My name is Willie Blake. I handle fighters, and this Morton boy looks like he might be a comer. Oh. Well, look, Tommy just a fight on the boxing team for the College of Spirit. One more year, he's going to be a big engineer. I don't think he wants to be a regular fighter. Never can tell, Mac. 
I might be able to make the boy a pretty good offer. No harm talking about it, is there? No, but I think you're wasting your time. Uh, you just leave it to me. Hey, you know, this is the nearest I've ever been to a college since I one time seen Dick Powell in a picture in 1933. <laughs> <a funny> thing. <laughs> hey, what do these kids do besides study the geography and the arithmetic? I mean, uh, what's the action? You mean you've never been in a college before? No. You don't know nothing about it? Not a thing. Well, I'll explain the whole thing for you. You see, uh, these are kids, uh, they come to the college and they join uh, some club uh, that's called a maternity. <laughs> maternity? <laughs> you mean fraternity? That's all right. The maternities are for the girls. <laughs> then... Uh, then they live in uh, these houses with, uh, with the funny names, the Greek names. There's, there's a one house that's called uh, Epsom Salt Supply. <laughs> then there's a one uh, uh, Papa Smelter Cider. And Papa, yeah. Papa Smelter Cider? Yeah, but the very big one, that's uh, Fido Beats a Kaplan. Oh, that's the Why, big... he couldn't beat Kaplan in a million years. <laughs> that's no Fido, that's the name of the house. <laughs> hey, where do they get these crazy names? Don't blame me here. Blame the Greeks for that, I don't know. <laughs> hey, what do they do for kicks? Ever have any excitement around town? Oh, sure. Once a year, all of the old graduates come here. The whole town is full of old graduates. That's what they call the, uh, the aluminum. <laughs> aluminum? Well, that's what they make the frying pans out of. That's right. Every Saturday night, they go out and get good and fry the whole <laughs> and, then, uh, and then they come back and then they stand there with the hat in the hand and the other hand over the heart, and they sing what you call the, the uh, Alma Tomato. <laughs> you know, I think that's wrong. I think it's Alma Tomato. They're all... <laughs> but it's so beautiful. I'm a telling you, fella, it's a making you cry. I don't get it. But I suppose if you go to college, it must mean something or other. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, here's a Tommy now. A Tommy, somebody doesn't want to see you. Me? Uh, Hi, uh, that's a Tommy. My one. name's Blake. I seen your fight last night. You look real good. Hey, thank you, sir. Yes, yeah, I said you look real good in there. Now, look, I handle fighters, Tommy, so we might as well come right down to the point. How'd you like to fight for cash? Hey, you mean you think I'm good enough for that? Well, you're still a little green, but you got the makings, and I can bring you along in no time. As a matter of fact, I can get you a six-rounder in Buffalo this Friday night. Your end will be 150 clams. $150? Chico, did you hear that? $150 for a Tommy. That's in a buffalo. How about the school? Sure, sure. But look, fight's not till Friday, right? I don't have any classes until Monday. I can make it. It's a cinch. Wait right a minute, now. wait a minute. Let's understand each other right away. I don't handle no boys for no coffee and cake places. Now, fighting is a full-time job. You keep your nose clean, Tommy, and I can wake you up there into the real important money and nothing flat. Yeah, but I don't know too much uh, you about You see, it's just like I say, Tommy, he don't want to be no prize of Hey, now, wait a minute, Chico. I said no such thing. As a matter of fact, it's... Starting to sound mighty interesting. Keep talking, Mr. Burke. Ain't much more to say, Tommy. All it takes is a handshake. Okay. <laughs> Here. Here. This 50 bucks ought to pay for your equipment for Friday night. Tommy, before you take of that money, think it over. Oh, you have a chance like this? Look, look, it, look. Think it over. I'll be over the hotel for a few hours yet. If you change your mind, come on over. If not... <laughs> no hard feelings. Uh, so long, Mike, and thanks for everything. Hey, Tommy. Yeah? You are not serious. Ah, uh, why not? Do you think it's a picnic going through school the way I am? Stoking furnaces at five in the morning. Slinging hash at the frat house. And what for? Just to wind up with a buck in my pocket at the end of the week. No dice. Not me, What's boy. Tommy, remember, this is... Paula, baby! Honey! Ha-ha! <laughs> have I got news? All our troubles are over. What troubles? What troubles? Money. This Friday night, I get 150 clams just for a few minutes' work. What are you going to do, rob a bank? Uh, nothing like it. Willie Burke, a price fight manager. Saw me fight last night, likes my style, wants to manage me. Going to get me a fight this Friday, right, Chico? You mean fight for money? Well, sure. He's already given me a $50 advance. After all, what good are those silver cups I've been winning? <sighs> Can't eat them. Oh, uh, this means money, darling. Lots of it. Everything we ever wanted. Well, not what I've wanted. I've only been counting the days till you graduate and become an engineer. Well, now, look, baby, are you in love with the idea of me being an engineer or are you in love with me? Well, Tommy, I, I know you've had a hard time, but somehow I've been sure that you'd, you'd have the courage to see it through. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, so I'm a quitter. 
But right now, I'm going to take that shortcut to everything I wanted. And things I was crazy enough to think you wanted, too. I'm going to see Mr. Burke before it's too late. All right, all right, all right. Now, don't cry. Look, Paula, please don't cry. I'm sure Tommy he's going to change his mind. You don't know him the way I do, Chico. Somehow he feels as though this will solve all of his problems. Sometimes he, he just doesn't know how to think. His, his head's in the clouds. Yeah. That's the trouble. When a fella's got his head's in the clouds, he can't to keep his feet on the ground. Hmm. Hello, folks. I'm Doc Williams. You know, we have a lot of nice girls coming into this store. And I've noticed the smartest girls always ask for fresh cream deodorant. They know to merely deodorize perspiration is not enough that underarm perspiration must be stopped and stay stopped. Now, they know when they use fresh cream deodorant, it really stops perspiration and gives complete protection at all times. Yes, a happy, exciting moment until a perspiration barrier came between them, especially at times like this. Underarm protection must be complete. Merely deodorizing is not enough. Underarm perspiration must be stopped and stay stopped. Smart girls use fresh cream deodorant every morning to really stop perspiration. Even hours and hours after fresh is applied, no perspiration barrier can come between you. Because at those special moments when you might perspire, the amazing ingredients in fresh are reactivated. And fresh starts to work all over again to give you the extra protection you may need at any time of the day or night. So don't take a chance with ordinary deodorants whose effectiveness quickly fades when with fresh cream deodorant you know you'll always be lovely to love. Now the makers of fresh cream deodorant present act two of the College Bowl starring Chico Marx. The time is late the same afternoon. The girls' gymnasium at State College. Curtain going up. Oh. oh, what's the use? Oh, Paula, don't feel that way. You know what Tommy's like. He's done crazy things before. Besides, you love him, honey. I, I just couldn't stand his being a prize fighter. It, it may be a thrill while the crowd is cheering, but when that's over, what would be left but a, a book of press clippings? Yeah, but wait a minute, Paula. Don't forget, he's doing this for you, too, to get you the things he thinks you want. But, Ev, shortcuts are no good. I never told him I was in a hurry. I'd, I'd be willing to wait forever. I, I just know I'm in love with him. But, Paula, baby, sometimes love and happiness just don't go together. It seems part of being in love is being a little sad. Well, that's something every girl has to face. Look at yourself. If you had a sense of humor, you would laugh to beat the band. Look at yourself. Do you still believe the rumor that romance is simply grand? Since you took it right on the chin, you have lost that right to face grin. Your mental state is all a jumble. I sit around and sadly mumble. Who's rushing? So here I am, very glad to be unhappy. I can't win, but here I am, more than glad to be unhappy. Unrequited love's a bore, and I've got it pretty bad. But for someone you adore Doesn't matter if you're sad Like a string, baby Chico, 
Chico, I'm worried about Tommy. After all, I'm his fraternity brother. I just can't stand by and let him throw away his whole future. Well, I feel the same way about him. But what can we do? Tommy's a very stubborn guy. If he wants to be a, a what do you call a box fighter, there's a nothing you can do that changes his mind. Yeah, you're right. If there was only something we could do to this guy, Burke, the fight manager, to make him change his mind so he doesn't want Tommy. Hey, maybe you got a hold of something. If we can't change Tommy's mind, maybe we can change a Burke's mind. Yeah, but how? Let me think. Now, wait. Look, you say you're Tommy's maternity brother, right? Right. You do anything for him, right? Right, anything. It's in the bylaws. I don't care if it's in the mother-in-law's. <laughs> I know how to save a Tommy. Well, what do you mean? This Friday night, you're going to get knocked out in Buffalo. <laughs> what do you want to see me about, Ravelli? Well, it's a very serious. I just don't know how to tell you. Tell me why. Well, you see, uh, it's about how we fool you. If I... I can't sleep at the night if I don't tell you. See, Tommy's not a good fighter. Tommy's no good. No. <laughs> Look, Mac, you must be off your rocker. I saw that boy go last night, and I'm telling you, he's great. Huh. Did you see him get punched in the jaw? No, I didn't. What's that got to do with it? Tommy's got what you call a glass jaw. You're kidding. Kidding or nothing. If his jaw was a looking glass, he gets a one punch, 70 years hard luck. <laughs> this is a fine thing to find out now. Yeah, that's not all. If he gets a one a punch here, that's what you call it, the bread basket. You know what's happen? What? He's a full of crumbs. <laughs> well, I got news for you, Mac. This kid ain't gonna get away with it. He's gonna fight Friday night hot or cold. Well, look, if a Tommy fights with a real prize fighter, he's gonna get his head knocked off. And it'll serve him right. If he'd have told me he had a glass jaw and couldn't take it in here, I wouldn't have given him that 50 bucks for the equipment. Besides, I made the commitment for the fight in Buffalo. I gotta have a boy in that ring at fight time. Hmm. You're lucky. I got a just the boy for you. I got the fella make a Tommy look like a bum. Why, they call him a the killer. Uh, hey, where can I get a look at this boy? Well, it's a just a lucky. He happens to be here. Hey, killer. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down, down, down. I'll, I'll murder him. Down. I'll kill him. See, he wants to kill somebody. In the morning, he gets the gloves on. <laughs> All right, this... This is a killer? Yeah. <laughs> I'll murder him! All I'll right, all right, now. Look! He, uh, 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 not me. He's a made of iron. Look at that chin. That's iron. Yeah, he looks pretty flabby around the middle to me. Ah, that's a stomach is a... Why, he can take it there all night. Go on, take a shot. Oh! oh, 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 oh. I thought you said he could take it there all night. Well, not in the daytime he can't, you see. <laughs> he's a night fighter. All I can say is he looks pretty awful. What am I going to do? I'm stuck. Hey, look, uh, what's his record? He ever knock anybody out? <laughs> you ever hear of Ike Williams? Sure. Oh, you did, huh? Uh, you ever hear of Rocky Graziano? Of course. Oh, you did, huh? Let's see. You ever hear of Sugar Ray Robinson? Sure. Hmm. You ever hear of... Uh, Pinocchio catch a tori? No. <laughs> he knocked him out in one round. <laughs> one round. Down, well, killer, down. Look, what about the three guys you just mentioned? Well, we challenge them. They don't answer. Well, it sounds, it sounds crazy, but there's nothing else I can do. I'll have to put him in there Friday night. Oh, my little the bum. Hey, you Hi, see? Hi, Chico. Well, Mr. Burt got my equipment. I'm all set to go. Oh, you have, yes, huh? Yes, sir. Well, I want to tell you something, Four Flusher. Four Flusher, what are you talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'm lucky to find out you ain't gonna cost me a nickel. Any boy what has a glass jaw plus he can't take it in hand don't belong in no ring. All right, now, wait a minute. Who told you all this? These two guys. Oh, I get it. So you're my pal, huh? My fraternity brother and all that nonsense. Look, I don't care what your idea is. You got no right ruining me with a guy like Mr. Burke. No right whatsoever. Wait a minute, Tommy. Stanley has nothing to do with it. It was a my fault. And that goes for you, too. Boy, will I be glad when I get out of here. Look, Chico, if you took care of your own business, stop meddling into everybody else's, we'd all be better off. Wait a minute, and Tommy. It's all right to talk to me like that. But after all Chico has done for you, it's like hitting him below the belt to say Look, I've taken just about enough. I'd like to knock you right into... And now maybe you'd like to hit me back. Because the boy I thought I was in love with is nothing but a bully. <laughs> Oh, 
I get it now, kid. Come on, we gotta shove off a buffalo. Come on, kid. Mr. Bike, here's your $50. I don't think Tommy's are going to Buffalo. Wait a minute. What do you say, kid? Huh? Oh, I guess he knows more about me than I do myself. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that glass jaw, but you sure got a lot of friends it's tough to beat. <laughs> so long, killer. <laughs> Chico, when am I gonna learn the answers without having to ask you, huh? You know, Tommy, if a fella in his whole lifetime can get to the right answers just a couple of times, he's a lucky. Yeah, but I, I lost two good friends, my girl, and that cost you 50 bucks. <laughs> Look at Tommy. You know lose me, and I'm sure you know lose Stanley. And the 50 bucks, it's just the money. Well, what are you waiting for? You want me to kiss him for you? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. That's what I like it to see. Hey, look. Hey, kids. Sometime soon you're going to get married. And after you get married sometime, maybe you'll have a little fight sometime. I want you should promise me one thing. Don't let go, let go with that the left hook. That's a dangerous. Okay? I promise you. Hey, not you. I mean her left hook. <laughs> if this isn't love... The whole world is crazy If this isn't love Why I'm daft as a daisy With moons all around And cows jumping over There's something amiss And I'll eat my hat if this isn't love We're feeling like the apple On top of William Tell With this we cannot grapple Oh, because you're so adorable. If this isn't love, then winter's summer. If this isn't love, my heart needs a plumber. We're swinging our stars, we're riding a rainbow. We're busting with bliss, and I'll kiss your hand if this isn't love. Everyone's talking about the new Silver Star razor blades. Amazing. Had to feel my face to know I shaved. Thought I used a phantom blade. Couldn't feel a thing. Silver Star, the blade your face can't feel. The only razor blade made of... Deridium. Deridium is an exclusive process. Even after several shaves, a Silver Star Deridium blade gives better shaving performance than a new blade made of plain or blue steel. Get the new Silver Star in the foolproof Whiz Pack dispenser. Wet thumb never touches the blade. Can't jam. Silver Star Whiz Pack with 10 blades, only 49 cents. Regular pack, five for a quarter. Deridium. The preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in New York, has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.